Hey family, this is Ashley B. If this is your first time joining my channel, welcome. Y'all, I'm so excited to be back. For those that have been missing me, I miss you guys too. I know a lot of y'all been looking like, where my girl at? I ain't seen her. Y'all, God just been doing some things with me behind closed doors. So I just need to take some time out and do what it is that God was calling me to do. But I love you guys. I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be back doing what I love and serving. And this topic has been on my heart for a while. And I said this, what better topic to come back to come back with, to do a comeback with. And I'm here to help all my seers, y'all. That's what I call us, seers. Those that have the spiritual gift of discernment. If you're somebody who believe that you have the spiritual gift of discernment, this video is for you. If you're somebody that knows that you have the gift of discernment, but you just kind of need some confirmation, you just kind of need some encouragement through this video to know, I know I'm not crazy. I know that this is my gift. It's about all of that, helping you to understand. But more importantly, I want you to understand this the one thing that you're gonna get from this video that you're not gonna get from other people that's doing this topic that's talking about this on social media or on YouTube see one thing is a lot of these other people are gonna give you these points to say oh this is how you know but what I'm giving you guys in this video is even deeper than that I'm giving you guys how you become empowered because one thing about it me as somebody that has been in this gift and not knowing that it was a gift obviously for so long until I got saved but the struggles that I've had with navigating this gift and being used like allowing God to use me in this gift it's been a challenge it's very hard to some times and so my biggest thing for you guys that are watching i don't want you to just know that you have this gift that this is a gift that god get that god gave you more so i want you to be empowered i want you to know how you can start using this gift for good especially those especially th those that feel crippled by this gift or burdened by this gift and you don't really understand how to navigate that's the biggest takeaway that i want you guys to get from this video so i'm giving you all of that okay guys so i'm starting with how you know how you know that you have the spiritual gift of desire this is number one this is number one this is this is this is what it is this is the number one way that you know that you are operating with the spiritual gift of discernment is that you are able to see the motives you are able to see people's motives you are able to see whether people are operating in evil if there's an evil spirit if there's a good spirit present most likely you're the person that when you meet new people i'm gonna give you an example you meet new people you come around people and it's like it's like something in you as soon as you get around these people it's like you can see you can see whether people are really genuine you can see where people whether or not people have bad motives it's like you can just see somebody come around you trying to smile on your face you can see like oh no nah, this person is behind the mask this person is not right or when somebody comes around you with the right spirit it's just something about them you can say like this person is is right this is the the right person for me this is somebody that i actually could be friends with because i see their motives i see that they're they are really genuine i see that they are really nice i see that they really do have a good heart most likely if you're a person that you instantly you're instantly able to see the motives of people's hearts and and how people are operating you probably have the spiritual gift of discernment because one thing that you have to understand about having the spiritual gift of discernment is that you're able to judge that's what discernment is all about is that you're able to judge things in the right way you're able to judge people you're able to see you're able to just be around people be in certain environments and you can see it you can see straight through it you can see if somebody lying to you you can see like you can see all of those things and another thing that i just want to add right here is that I want you to understand that because a lot of people get confused by this is that God can give anybody discernment, especially if you ask for it. You say, God, I want you to give me discernment. God will give you discernment if that's what you want, if that's what you need from God, if you want to be more discerning in your life. But understand that there is a group of people, there's a group who specifically have this gift, who has the gift of discernment. So I just wanted to point that out. But well, we're going to move on to number two. This is another way that you know that you have the spiritual gift of discernment. You approach things in life 
with a lot of reluctancy. But this is good reluctancy, right? And I want to I wanna explain this. I want to break this down because I want you to understand that there's a, a good reluctancy and a bad reluctancy. The bad reluctancy meaning that you can't just be reluctant and stay away from everything in life and be guarded from everything in life. Because if you do that, you're going to miss out. You're going to miss out on what God truly has for you. You're going to miss out on the places that God is trying to take you if you just pull back from life and everything altogether. But no, what I'm talking about specifically about this gift, about spiritual discernment, is that there's a certain type of reluctancy that you've always had in your life, just how you have, how you have approached things, right? And this has to do with everything, like, you know, relationships, jobs, certain decisions that you've had to make in your life there's something in you that you don't just go run and jump and do things you you don't just go run and jump in relationships you don't just go run and jump and take this job because it sounds good no a person with spiritual discernment is always kind of sitting back making the best decisions is always sitting back like that's not right i can't do that that's that doesn't sound right like the thing this is another way i want you to this is another way that I want you to see it is that have you ever sat back and felt like everybody else around you can just go run and do this. They can go run and do whatever they want. They could jump in this and jump in that. And it seems like that it doesn't affect them. But as soon as I do it, as soon as I try to go do these things, it don't work out for me. All hell breaks loose in my life because I done decided to do this. Do you know what that means? Do you know? See, you didn't know this all your life. You didn't know that this was a gift that you had and you didn't really understand this. But I want you to understand that this that is because with you having this gift, God has had to give you a certain level of protection because what you got to have, what you have to understand is that whatever gift that God has given us, there's a certain level of protection that comes with each gift. God has to protect our gift. It's our gift. It's for us. Our gifts is to strengthen us. Our gifts is to be used out in the earth realm. So there's a certain level of protection that God has to do with these gifts. He has to protect these gifts. These gifts are precious. These gifts that God gave us ain't just gifts that God gave us. God gave us these gifts for a reason. So a lot of, a lot of these things that have happened in your life where you feel like, man, everybody else can go do this, but I can't do this because God has been protecting you. If you have this gift, God not just going to let you go run out there and do whatever you want to. That's even why you have that spirit of reluctancy sometimes. Like, oh, I can't. That's not for me. That's nothing more but your gift. That's nothing more but your gift working for you on the inside. And so I just really wanted to highlight that because I know that was something that I didn't understand until I started understanding this gift and understanding you know, why God gave me this gift and how to operate in it. That was a big thing for me. Like, why does it seem like everybody else can just get away with things? God, why I got to, you know, so I just wanted to point that out. Now, number three, this is the number three way that you know that you have the spiritual gift of discernment. This is a funny one is that you are constantly questioning yourself. You are constantly asking if you have this gift. And nine times out of 10, that's why you're on this video because this is something that you keep questioning in. This is something that deep down you like, I know I'm not crazy. I know that there's things that I'm seeing. I know that there's, I'm able to get around people and see that people not right, see people's motives. I know that God is showing me things in my dreams. I know that I'm discerning certain things. That's why you're on this video. And so that's a number one way that you know that you probably have the spiritual gift of discernment. But this is exactly why I'm doing this video. And this is exactly why I'm helping whoever needs this confirmation. Don't keep questioning in yourself don't keep questioning if you know this this video is hidden everything that i've been talking about even up until this point is hidden you like yup i knew it i knew this was me so that's another way that you know number four this is another way is that god shows you things in the spirit when you're praying when you're interceding for others and for a lot of you that's trying to understand if you have this gift you probably you probably are struggling with that part like man i know i feel like god when i pray for people even when i pray for myself i feel like god is showing me things during my prayer time i feel like he shows me things in the spirit but you if you're somebody that don't know that this is a gift 
and you still trying to figure this out, you don't know what to do with the things that God is showing you. So that's another way that you might be questioning yourself. Like, I know I'm seeing this. I know that I'm discerning this. I know that I'm coming up from my prayer time. I'm coming up from my intercession time and I'm seeing stuff. I feel like I need to be telling people or even another way that you know is if you like your whole life, you have been able to tell people stuff without even knowing what's going on with them, without knowing anything about their story. And you get around people and you are able to see, like tell them what you're seeing about them. And they be like, man, how you know that? How, like, you're right. That is what it is. How do you know that? It's probably because you have the gift of discernment. Number five. Oh, y'all, this is the most frustrating one. This was this was the most frustrating one for me to kind of get past and navigate through. But this is another good way to know if you have the gift of discernment is that the people around you, family, friends, whoever, your spouse, whoever the case is a lot of people around you might feel like you're judgmental that might be something that you have always you know you've always received from loved ones like that you're judgmental or that you're an over analyzer you're an overthinker like you doing too much you put too much on it you an over exaggerator this is what i want you i hope i really encourage somebody with this this is what I want you to understand about if that's something that you've dealt with your whole life and something that even frustrates you right now, even if you're somebody that's able to accept that, okay, God, I know that this is a gift, but that part of this gift really frustrates me. That part of this gift really hurts me. This is what I want you to understand. When you have the gift of discernment, everybody does not see the things that you see. That's why... That's why it seems like you the one that's doing too much. You the one that's... See, the thing about us having this gift of discernment, we're protectors because we know what we're seeing. We know what we're seeing in the spirit. So, of course, with this gift, we want to protect our loved ones. We want to protect our children. We want to protect the people we love. We want to keep our friends from people that we can see in the spirit is not right from them. But you have to keep this in the back of your mind that these people, people that don't have this gift... They don't see what you're seeing. They don't see these things in the spirit like you're seeing it. That's why they think that the place that you're coming from is from a place of judgment. The place that you're coming from is from a place of doing too much. No. And I want you to keep that in the back of your mind to keep yourself encouraged with this gift that don't, you cannot care about what people are saying or what people are thinking about you because you know what you're seeing. You know what God is showing you and you just got to stick with that. You just got to believe it and say, God, I know you showing this to me for a reason and if you're using me to be the one to be the spokesperson to say what i gotta say i gotta stand on it i gotta say what i gotta say no matter what people feel no matter what people think they gonna be grateful down the line when they see that whatever god was showing me was real and they're gonna appreciate it and they're gonna respect it okay so now that i've given you the five ways that you know that you have the spiritual gift of discernment i want to shift gears into the most important Okay, yeah, I done gave y'all that. For a lot of y'all that's on this video, you already know that. This is nothing more but confirmation. But like I said in the beginning of this video, what's most important to me is to help those that are struggling with this gift, that's struggling with, you know, not only knowing that whether or not you have this gift, but okay, God, what do you want to do in me with this gift? And so I want to show you guys and teach you guys how do you become empowered with this gift because that's what's most important that's what's most important and i know me as being a seer as being somebody that has this gift one thing that was really really hard for me for a long time is i used to feel so burdened by this gift i used to feel so crippled and especially being somebody who has such a big heart see the thing about having this gift this the spiritual gift of discernment it can make you really angry. It can make you bitter if you let it because the things that you are seeing, the things that you're discerning, you could be so passionate about it, right? Like if you know somebody not right, if you could see something in the spirit about somebody's spirit, it can make you angry. Like, man, I don't want to be around this person. I don't want nothing to do with these people. I don't want nothing to do with these situations. I don't want nothing to do with these places because I feel like I got to protect myself. And so this is why I really want to help you out. And I'm going to give you these three things of how you start to become empowered by this gift. Number one, and it's taking me back to what I was saying about 
what God might be showing you in your prayer time, you have to use this gift to always be praying and interceding because here's the thing. Here's the thing about God giving you this gift. God is showing you the things that God is showing you through the discernment, the things, the visions and all these things that you're able to see. God is using you to do something about it. That's why you have the gift. Okay, this is what's happening. And I need somebody to do something about it. I need somebody that's able to go to war. Everybody don't know what's going on, but you see it. And so you have to use these things that God is showing you, these things that you see, these things that you discern. You have to use it as an opportunity to go into intercession, to pray. Pray whatever it is that you see. Instead of quickly becoming discouraged or getting angry by the things that you see, you have to instantly use that opportunity to start praying intercede it because your intercession your intercession is my it might be what is going to make the difference that's why god is showing it to you that's why you're discerning it because you're the solver of it you're the solver based off of what god is showing you god needs somebody to go to pray go into prayer to fix this to solve this there's people out there this is what you got to understand y'all there's people out there that don't got nobody in their life that's praying for them that's getting on their knees going to war for them but you might be the person you might be that one person in somebody's life where ain't nobody else they ain't got no praying grandmother they ain't got no praying mom ain't nobody around them saved ain't nobody around them know nothing about god don't want nothing to do with god you're the person that's going to make that difference so i want you to keep that in the back of your mind this is how you start becoming empowered okay god this is what you're showing me i'm ready to go to war i'm ready to get on my knees whatever it is you're showing me however hard it might be for me to take whatever i'm discerning i'm going to use it for good i'm going to use it for your glory number two now this is something that this changed everything for me this is something that i learned from my pastor is that you always have to have a mindset of leadership especially when you operate it in this gift because just like i was saying this is a, this is the type of thing where you're seeing things and you're understanding things that other people don't see or other people don't understand and with God using you to show you these things and using you as the problem solver for these things we don't have the luxury us to have this gift we don't have the luxury to be walking around in bitterness we don't have the luxury of walking around not doing nothing with the things that God is. We, we we don't have that luxury we don't have the luxury to just be cutting people off we don't have the luxury to say oh because i see that these people like this i gotta stay away from this no we have to do something with this gift so the way that you become empowered by this gift is to always have a mindset of leadership that no matter what, like, the, I'm going to give you an example. That's like if you have you working on your job and you know for a fact that God has shown you something about some of your coworkers, you can't just not do your job or not go to work because you're around evil people. No, you got to learn how to still operate. You got to learn how to still live. You got to learn how to still smile. You got to learn how to still be a leader. You have to learn how to still lead with compassion because that's what this gift is all about. God wants you to still be a leader no matter what it is that he's showing you, no matter what it is that you're discerning about people, things, or places, you still have to live you still have to navigate so always keep it in your mind no matter what god i'm gonna be a leader i i don't have the the privilege or the luxury to just be cutting people off to just be staying away from my family like cutting my family off cutting these people off no i still gotta be a leader i still gotta lead i still gotta be the person that you've called me to be and i have to use this gift for your glory and the last one now this just kind of wraps up everything that i said even with the last two points is that you have to when you have this gift i'm telling you it's not for the weak you have to control your emotions this gift having this gift is so easy it's so easy to let your emotions get involved it's so easy to become upset it's so easy especially when you have a good heart especially it's like it's so easy it's so easy to be emotional with having this gift feeling burdened by this gift because of the things that you're seeing the things that's just like you know if you've had certain friends and god done finally shows you you done finally had that discernment to see that these people ain't been right since they one 
They've never been right since day one. And that could be a tough pill to swallow, right? Like that can be hard. That can really hit your soul. That can make you really emotional. But when you have this gift, I'm telling you, you got to remove your emotions from it. And this is why I'm telling you when things come up, when you discern things in the spirit, when God shows you things, you have to immediately get into prayer. You have to immediately get into intercession. You have to always have the mindset of being a leader. And that's what it's all about. And this is how you become empowered. Use this gift. I know for a lot of you that's watching this video, you've been so confused. You've been like, God, why I got to have this gift? Why I got to be the one? Why I got to see these things? Why I got to be the one to do something with it? But I'm telling you, it's truly a blessing. I thank God, especially now that I've come to the point where I understand this gift and I now know how to use it for God's glory. It's a blessing. It's a blessing that God will trust me with such a gift. And I want the same for you. And I hope that that's what you got from this message. That's what you got from this video. I hope that you are encouraged. If you got to keep playing it back and back and back, if you know somebody that this message might hit for, go ahead and send it to them. I love you guys with the love of God. Before I leave, I have another video on this topic. It's just about discernment. And more so, this video is helping you to discern relationships relationships in your life so i want you it's an old video listen to y'all it's an old 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 video from like when i first started youtube but it's still the nonetheless the message still hits the message still makes it point makes this point so i want you to go down in the description and go watch that video if you're interested in still learning and learning more about discernment i love you guys with the love of god i will see you in the next video